Chasm in the, the book of Revelation. We approached some of the topics last week. We're going to ask the brethren to work and bring this morning, already develop this work of the time called Tzum for the letters of Revelation. Pastor J.D. Tew is going to give the introduction of what we're going to work on. I'd like to ask, in the first place, we'd like to say the teaching of the book of Revelation is fundamental for the church in the time which we're living. The book of Revelations was a book that was written for this time. Those who wanted to enter into the book, they wrote many things. They approached several, several topics, historical topics that in a certain way they are curiosities. For example, Laodicea, the church, is a church, uh, the city that had a, spe a special type of eye drop. For us, it has no Im importance. There was there a great library. It's not important for us. What matters to us is what the word, the prophetic word, the revealed word, is there. That's what matters to us. The history, a little more, a little less, it doesn't is not a problem, but is, it also has no meaning for us to waste time with it. Watching things that at the moment they're good, but they have no efficacy for the spiritual life of a people that knows where they are, where they came from, where they are, where we're going to. There's a people, uh, a gospel that has no direction. Each person says one thing, even good things, they're, they're beautiful preachings. The word the Lord says the following, That's, this is the, the way. So every day, pastor is preaching, Jesus saves, Jesus baptizes with the Holy Spirit, Jesus is good, Jesus is this, this is, Jesus has done the miracles, the lame walked, the blind saw. All of this is very good. So he has a whole week to speak about that. And, and everyone else is saying that. They say in one way, they say in another way. So, uh, our su suggestion, which is, has nothing to do with salvation. Pay attention. What we are saying here is very different. This is the way. Every day we speak about it. And there's a group that already got used to hearing about the way, to come to the church, to sit down, to hear uh, the way in which the pastor is going to s explain it, they begin to explain it, and in a while everybody will fall asleep. Walking on the path is the moment in which we need to be living now. But in order for us to walk on the way, we need to have direction, we need to have doctrine. And the doctrine, in order for us to walk on the way, it was defined in the book of Revelations. Why Revelations? The prophetic moment in which we are living. The brethren, see here, we come here in Philadelphia. It is the operation of the Holy Spirit, is knowledge or revelation. Let us understand. Knowledge of what? Of the world? Yes or no? No. Knowledge of science, yes or no? No. Knowledge of what? Of what? Uh, Want to see if the bread, uh, if uh, the bread can give this information to the other church? It's not all about Jesus. The stone that was found here, the treasure, is Jesus. The world didn't know it because the door, the word was closed. The treasure was hidden in the field of the interests of the religion. They picked the, the Bible and translated to Latin and, and then nobody knew anything. So he began to say uh, about a Bible, what, what was in the Bible, nobody believed on. See my brethren, the church will either rescue this, why knowledge, why? Because of people 
the people needs to know the moment in which you're leaving. What is the moment in which you're leaving? Maranatha. Jesus is coming. Jesus is at the door. Isn't it true? We know this because those are signs. Simply, are those simply uh, signs of the historical events? No, not simply that. Also, the prophetic moments, uh, events. It's not only the world that is is presenting a couple of facts, but it's also the si prophetic situation in which the world is living. Who reveals this is Jesus. The book of Revelations is revelation. It's revelation from Jesus. The word soon. So now today is the question. You're going to find the word soon, the expression similar to soon in the seven letters. Then you see uh, the soon is here, and the second letter, the, the soon is there. We're going to find each letter, we're going to find the word soon and the meaning of the soon. And that's what is important. What type of soon does that never comes? The soon that needs to come is here. I didn't allow you to switch <laughs> the screen. Go back. I always play with the people with the computers. They are not polite, but they are very good kids. <laughs> so, the beginning, the knowledge of Jesus. Observe. The bride is the church. If, in fact, that's the bride. What does a bride have to do? Get ready in order to meet with the groom. A bride is going to get married only through the social network. It might, it might even work out. But the bride is going to get married with the groom that she needs to meet. She needs to see his face, his intentions, the sustenance that he, he has to give. Today is the other way around. To, today, the groom wants to know if the bride has money, if she has impl she, if she has a good job. If she has a good job, he's not going to need to work. So the bride needs to understand that we are in this time of revelation. There is no other thing before. Before was the word. You believe in the word, I believe. You fix up your life, and this is a word. Now, this is revelation. Why? Because the letter lo lost its effect. It lost philosophy, lost philosophy. And now I'm going to speak about why it is philosophy. And it was created in order to destroy faith, to destroy the relation between Jesus and the church. The relation between Jesus and the church is through faith. And the agent that connects the church to Jesus is the Holy Spirit which is his blood, which is the agent of union between the church and Jesus. In this moment, Jesus wants to reveal to himself to the church. He says, I'm the groom. I'm governing the world. I'm governing your life. Whoever directs your steps is me. You're going to an eternity with me. You need to correct your life. He's the one who's saying this. This is the moment of the church. He's not going to come to take a bride as has filled with stains because this bride with stains is already here it's going to be left behind it's in the book of revelations called the great prostitute a name is very hard to say here but it is in the book in the book of revelations a woman that stopped the left the great love the greatest love that's why she's the great holotress as a word that the word can express itself, which is the love of Jesus to the church and the church towards the Lord Jesus, that will be completed in the experience of salvation that will lead to eternal life. This is a love, it's an, which is an eternal love. It's not the love of the world. It's not a love of a couple that needs to exist. It's not, it's not only this love of this agreement uh, of what you want and what you can't do. No, this love is unconditional. It is his bride, it is his church. He's not going to allow any stain. 
he's introducing himself to the church. If you don't want this, don't come to the study of Book of Revelations. If you a bride is not worried, you, if you are just a Christian, you can't join the all the others. But if you want to know Jesus through revelations, it's different. Knowing Jesus through reason, look, he was born in a manger. The kings, three kings from east came gold, incense, myrrh, and you see the star from Christmas. Everybody will buy at the end of the year to Santa Claus. This is wonderful. We eat a turkey with rice, and it is something that you need to do with your life. Uh, have a full belly, seeing stars. Look, the work of the Holy Spirit at this moment needs to be completely clear in our lives. You either are of Jesus or you, or you are not. If you don't belong to Jesus, then it, if you're not speaking about Jesus, then you may be something else, not the bride. See, my brethren, the moment in which we are living here is which is of knowledge that we need to deal with is the knowledge of re revelation. Is Jesus revealed? Why? Now, the brother, we are going to understand why. The question that the pastor is going to begin to say here from this point forward. So, what is the key word from from the seven letters? There's not a single word. So, I want the pastor. Uh, what a, this nice man here may give you continuity, although his hair is already disheveled. His is pretty like this. He's prettier than Jews. Oh boy, it's so much. <laughs> We want to say the importance of the the book when we highlight the the times soon is the moment in which I live. We we should not be unaware because we are at the last moment. We see in each letter the highlight of the soon. And a few texts says clearly. A few letters says clearly where it is. And a few others we are going to find out through the reading of the text. Here identified the the soon here. A few are going to be easier to find then others are going to be a little harder. But there is a question to the church, which is the following. Highlight the soon in the seven letters of Revelations and mention the text. So this is the work of the church. The brethren had already this question on the last Sunday school. And understand that the brethren will make, will have easier uh, way, uh, easier time to answer this question because you had already a week to answer it. So uh, try to uh, to find a church that are connected with us to identify the text in and of the dominion of uh, soon in the seven letters of revelation so now we are going to interact we have a large group here what first period of a uh, class this is the first period of class very well so this first period they are very well informed they already have, have done the, the introduction they can even teach everyone here in Brazil. So now goes the question. What is the word soon in the first letter? In what text? The brother is going to answer the text. And the first you're going to stand up. And I want this to happen in the church. And the pastor, the coordinator, that is instructing, is going to help us with this. The brother has the first text. You can sit, stand up and see. You're going to see if you see where is the the soon the first letter? What is the first letter? What is the first letter? Church of Ephesus. Very well. What is the verse? Verse. So microphone in your mouth. Yeah, okay. I have to. S you follow with me here. There's a monitor here in Manaim. Stand up, sister. The church is Ephesus. Remember where you fell? 
and repent. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. So we're going to repeat. Everybody is going to to help on the text that the brother just read. Remember, therefore, from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Very well. Uh, quickly, here, how much time has passed? As much time as the quickly uh, in the, the remaining letters. Quickly is an expression used to say that the Lord is present because He's seeing everything. Because he, he has His judgment, the word soon in the book of Revelations, in the original, is related to the time of the church, Jesus as the Messiah and Lord of the church and also the Lord Jesus and his work and his mission church as as patrimony of Jesus as possession of Jesus when we see the seven letters and now we're going to say that Jesus is now linked to his judgments and soon, if we have time, we're going to speak about judgments. But for now, we're going to stay here. The judgment is going to be for the world, for for the church. The judgment is upon the, the church, the period of the church. We're going to have moments of victories and defeats also. Everything is walking towards one direction. The faithful church, the rapture. The church of promises rapture. The unfaithful church. The fall, the fall of Babylon, the mother of the prostitutions and the abomination of the earth, the, which is in the name of this unfaithful church. It's not Church A or B. No, all, no, all of those who are a member of this group, they are not. Uh, they do not care about the arrival of Jesus. So Christianity, everybody is Christian. That's all right. So very well. It's important that you. So this is a pro promise, the text that we just read is a long promise. In this promise, what is going to happen? He's going to remove revelation from its place, uh, your lampstand. He's going to remove the lampstand, the revelation. And that's already happened. The church lost the revelation. Why? Because the first days of the church were days of revelation. Paul said, because I received from the Lord what I already taught you. This was revelation. Nobody taught me. It was f because of will anyone, but it was through revelation of the Holy Spirit. Peter is in revelation. <coughs> and he was there, I had a vision, the manifestation, and the doctrine that was fundamental it was the great revelation. And today, observe, my brethren, the soon that we see here is coming to our time, which is revela revelation, is the coming, is the return. This is a topic that we could even discuss in a future occasion. And I ask if, to the brethren to look in the letters to see when the, the revelation is coming back. When did the revelation come back? When did it come back? It was, came back first with Luther, was the word once again the doctrine the revelation now for the church is departing was not revelation for the church to proclaim and now the final revelation for the church to depart much more serious than the first one because the first one was the holy spirit being put out to prepare the church and now is now is the church getting ready to be taken by the holy spirit it's a great difference so pastor let's go to the second just like to remind you, when we speak about the time called soon here, is when we speak about the time here in relations. <coughs> Until I come, when is Jesus coming? I will come late. Well, 
the word says that I'm coming soon. So when we see Revelation chapter uh, verse chapter two verse twenty five. So until this moment, uh, but hold fast what you have till I come. So we hear this answer in the church of Ephesus. So now let's look for the soon in the church of Smyrna. Uh, I want to see you guys finding this one. I don't want you to see you, what you think. I want you to see an answer, not only here, but in the church. So somebody already got up here. But there are others here in the pre the beginning. Peace of the Lord. And the ten there is no not a clear expression, but there is a fear. Don't fear any of those things which you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will have tribulation this then 10 days be faithful until death and i will give you the crown of life the brother gave the uh, a good answer but is this the answer and somebody said oh it's only the ending the brother made an introduction and the other one got the ending you got to write here on your answer See here, the truth here is already defined. It's life and death, and that's over. The church was born there and died through for the love of the doctrine of the time called soon and the assurance of eternal life. Because the soon for us and the, for the church throughout time is a meeting with the Lord Jesus. And this is the church that lived the soon when the church died, and the crosses and the fire bonfires they had the doctrine which was Jesus and because of that doctrine they, they are killed and the soon for them was they they died in the soon which was Jesus so soon is Jesus Jesus is the soon when you speak on the word we're saying one thing when you're speaking about the expression of this word we're saying something else which is the prophetic. One thing was the events that took place there, and the other was what the church lived, which was the church lived the soon. And what is the the soon is the doctrine. What passed through time and came to our days. So see, the point was difficult. The brother brought the read the right text, and the other one found the point very well. So the time the soon is. The brethren that stayed there for witness of the church throughout his, the history of the church. A pastor, where is the pastor? He ran out. <laughs> so we find here the answer in Smyrna and be faithful unto death, and I will give you the crown of life. So here is at the end of uh, verse 10. So there's responsibility of the church to remain faithful to, the, to death. So our time is short. Uh, until that, we have we have to be faithful because afterwards we're going to have an eternity with God. So now let us touch, find the, the soon in the Church of Pergamos. So here's a little easier, the Church of Pergamos. So it's easy to find. So now you stand up and, and you talk and let's do it fast. Very well. Answer this question is in verse 16. Repent, or else I will come to you quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. So we have the promise. What is the promise? Whatever you have, keep it until I come until I come. So that's the promise. And in the second one, we're going to see the proof. The proof, the trial, the, the soon was there. Trial was there. The death and resurrection. Be faithful to death. In the third, we're going to see Pergamos. Where? What is the promise for Pergamos? What was the, the reason? 
for this soon in the Church of Pergamos. What was? Who knows? Uh, no one has an answer. I I think I don't know either. <laughs> My brethren, you can put the first uh, projection here. The situation of the church, the situation of the church until here was a situation that was difficult. Why? Because was born here. It begins the suffering and its death here. They said, we're well, going to finish the church. There was a great opposition. The first opposition was the one of the world and of the enemy of all souls. Inside of the life of the church, trying to change the teachings. This one here was the death. We're going to kill it. Because the more they preach, the more opposition more the doctrine gets stronger so let us kill them here's the destruction and here is the union the world represented there so let us do this the weakening of the church doesn't happen through persecution because the more we persecute the more the church gets becomes faithful more the church would pronounce with authority of life and here they're going to say we're going to unite because we unite, we weaken it. And exactly this. And here is when the soon comes. What's the text? What does the text say? Whoever read the text, read it once again on the microphone. Whoever has, very well. Repent or else I will come to you quickly and I will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. The word of the might was already prepared that which was the word Luther you don't have to repent the soon here comes to reorganize the project because <coughs> the project of the word have been forgotten and the soon is the word will come back and the word will remain in Luther and now we have the assurance that the word was was obfuscated was changed so now there is no promise no the the word will remain why because the time of the church that exists to still we will live in function of this reorganization of this word and whoever is going to fight is going to be me so the time was the hope of the church for change and this time here is a necessary change so when Luther opened the Bible and and the sword came out of the mouth so he fought with the enemies all of them he alone this is the man of the parable here the parable of the man that finds a treasure hidden in the field it was a single man and the Lord was showing that his action it doesn't matter if if you need 1000 2000 what matter is that that God is fulfilling his promise to his people in the soon here it speaks of a battle that he was going to fight preparing the church for his last moment let's continue with the fourth so our next question is, is speaks of the soon in the church of Teatira what does it say? Yes, in the verse 25, it says the following, but hold fast what you have till I come. Tetira on verse 25, chapter 2, verse 25. Verse chapter 2, verse 25, right? So see here. The soon here, we are summarizing because the brethren already found the, the verse. 
So they're soon here in Tiatira. Retain a little bit of what exists still, because what was used was just a little bit. There were only four doctrines that were on the Apostolic Church that had already been changed. The four doctrines that changed, there were just a little bit of what existed to be changed. So keep this. But hold fast what you have till I come. So he came, it was a promise, in Tiatira. What Tiatira was no longer an operation, was an action of the enemy opposing to the Holy Spirit in the life of the church. Here the Father and then here the Son and now of the church. So when they resolve this, now we're going to go to the, the last part of the project of the church. A project of the church. Uh, I went a little a little farther in the future. So repent, part practice the first works. Otherwise, soon I will come and I'll take a chair. The work of this spirit is not the flesh. So let's go to the next question. Or this Church of Sardis. Where is this soon the Church of Sardis? Sardis and Revelations 3.3. 3. Remember, therefore, how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what, what hour I will come upon you. So the soon is where? What is the text saying? It's speaking about a moment of an hour. Is related to the prophetic moment in when the Lord will come. The Lord will come as a thief. So then you go to the book of Matthew, and nobody knows the day of the hour or the hour. So there are many aspects here related to this time here. So when you speak about Robert, we're going to find the New Testament what it is. It is a moment in which the world is not waiting for, expecting it. And the Church Maranat is not expecting it, right? We're just like the, the project is out there, right? No, of course not. We need to change the name. Instead of being Maranatha, what is the name that the brethren suggest so that we may be like everyone else? We have a name that is related to the moment. If it is not the moment that this church is linked to, then the church of John, of Joseph. Go ahead, Alexander. So the answer is going to find the church of Philadelphia, which is the second last letter, church of Philadelphia. And quickly, somebody here. The answer is of the Sum, the Church of Philadelphia, Church of Philadelphia is on verse eleven. Behold, I come I'm coming quickly. Hold fast what you have, that no one may take your crown. So what is he saying here? I'm there on my on my room. Uh, everybody is sitting here. So then I send a message, wait for me because I'm leaving my office and I'm, I'm arriving quickly, right? This is a warning, a message. It's a message to tell the church that the church needs to be ready. The church is ready because, has to be ready because I'm coming at any moment. So we need to do it quickly with the cares that a bride is not going to be combing her hair while the groom is arriving. The church is going to get ready. 
only on those church that schedule weddings at 7 o'clock and the weddings takes place at 10. But the groom is not going to delay and the cry of the midnight is already here. Here comes the groom. Is the cry of the midnight. So there are no mistakes. This soon is well characterized. So now let's go to the last soon which is going to be the message for the night, for the pastor that like to preach, what is the doctrine. Of course, there are many other things that need to be explained. Stuff that is unrelated to Revelation. They can preach about things out of their minds. But the, when the fact the church needs to hear what is taking place, place now. So now, let us uh, invite the whole church to stand up. Include the church. 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in, in to him and dine with him, and he with me. My brethren, I'm at the door. One thing is to say, I'm coming. And the other is, I arrived, I'm here. When you are at the door, the door is already open. The door of the grace will be closed this is the time which are leaving. The door that need is going to be closed, and this door that is Jesus. It is the same that was closed there in the time of Noah, when the Father closed the door of the ark. The world fulfilled all its objectives. The gospel has fulfilled all its mission. Today. There's only one thing, this is judgment for the church, the rapture. So I came, I come as a robber, it's coming on by surprise. Keep what you have, and what do you have? Uh, conversation, social network, is what, what the stuff you're reading there, that's what you're keeping? No, keep the revelation. Keep the revelation, which is what is important for our life. You understand, my brother, who are here in the chair and the bench of the church, and even now and then, today at least, you understand this. You need to know that in your midst, there was a prophet. It's not the prophet A or B. It was the Holy Spirit that is is dictating the revelations. It's not for you. It's for me. It's for all who are here. The ones who are waiting for the day, the glorious day of the coming of the Lord Jesus. This is the song. Want to sing it? I want to play it. Play it. Play the song.
Hallelujah. Holy is old is your name, Lord. Go to God. Hallelujah. to God. We're going to close this Sunday school with a couple of words of glorification to the Lord. Brother, sister, each one has an opportunity to raise their voice and thank the Lord for all the benefits that He has given to this day, to our lives. Lord, I want to praise you for the beauty of our We exalt you, Lord, because one day you have been able to reach us. We praise the Lord for so great love. We praise the Lord because salvation is individual. You have called us by name, Lord. From the womb of our mothers, we praise you, Lord. For the victories, for the cures, for the salvation that we have been able to reach. That's why we praise you, Lord, for this morning. For this point of blessings before the Lord. We praise you because we are privileged people. Because you are the Lord of our lives. Because you are the great I am of our lives. We praise you because if God is for us, who will be against us? We praise you, Lord. Because one day we will see the Lord face to face. We praise you for this joy. We praise you for your grace. We exalt you, Lord, because truly, you are the owner of our lives. We praise you, Lord, for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. Lord, I want to praise you also, because another year is coming to an end. Because we can feel your care. We can praise you, Lord, because of the trials of tribulation, Lord. We're, but we also praise you for, from the bottom of our hearts because you were being victorious with us. You helped us and helped us to win every battle. We are more than victorious, Lord. 
Because you are living God, a wonderful God. We praise the Lord. Because we can say, Lord, you have helped us to this day. Glory and hallelujah, we're going to give you, Lord. Because we are privileged people for being in your house. Because we have already been victorious in another year, Lord. We praise the Lord for everything. In the name of Jesus. I want to bless, praise you, Lord, for the blessing of doctrines that you have revealed to your church at the last days, Lord. We praise the Lord for everything. For the satellite transmissions, Lord. That you bless the entire world with, Lord. Because we are prepared, your church, for this moment. So important that we are living. We want to bless, we want to praise the Lord because you have poured out so many blessings to your church without measure, Lord. That's what we want to say. That we know where we are living. Well, we know the time in which we're living and where we're going to. And most importantly, Lord, we're waiting, Lord, for God to take us. Maranatha, may, we're, my hope is that Maranatha will be fulfilled in our lives. We pray to you and thank you in the name of Jesus. Hold your name, Lord. Now praise the Lord because you have done great things in our lives, Lord. In this year, 2018, Lord, you have been a present God, a living God. You have been a wonderful God in our lives, Lord. And we know, Father, that nothing that happened to us was without your permission, Lord. But you have been present. You have sustained us, has strengthened us. I provided all things, Lord. We praise the Lord for your action of justice that were amazing in the midst of your people, Lord. We pray for the miracles that took place in the midst of your church. We praise you, Lord, because you are God that is present, that is everything for us. We praise you, Lord, for your infinite love. We praise you for your grace, Lord, that we don't deserve, Lord. But you have been every day. Uh, touched our hearts in order for us to be in your presence, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for your great love and our soul desires to be with you, Lord, to meet with you, Lord. Our soul desires not to be fulfilled in our lives. We want to praise you, Lord, to this God who is God, this God who is wonderful, that is powerful, that is infinitely we can praise you, Lord, and raise you, your name high up in the name of our Son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. 
the song of the children, so we can bring the, the service to close. Maranatha, Jesus will come soon. The church will stand up. Let's sing with the children the songs and bring this message, the service to close. Holy the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. praise you because we are thankful for this moment of fellowship as that you may receive this service as an offering to you prepare the church uh, of for the service tonight make us sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit so that we may understand and comprehend your project so that the service tonight we may once again people may be saved their name may be glorified is, is this the offer that we make to you in the name of Jesus? And I'm going to say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our good and eternal Father, and sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit be with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The service is over. The church may be seated. I'd like to remind the, the service tonight from Monday to Tuesday is 10.30 p.m. And Brother Luciano asked the brethren to come early at 6 o'clock, 6 of the afternoon of Monday to help in the organization here for the event that is going to take place after the vigil. Amen. And to all the peace of the Lord, and the praise group is going to stay here a little. While we're going to pray for Brother Lee Elias. He has his birth and today we're going to pray for him. The Lord has a blessing for his life. Stop translation, Elias, and come here.
Because his birthday cannot be forgotten. Amen. What is the song? Let's go. You don't have to sing. Just pick one. sing solo? If so, go ahead. Is it that one? Alright. If you need uh, more help, we have our little friend back there. Just come over here, you know. We have the progression? I don't think so. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let's pray for the let's pray for the brother. Amen. Holy, holy is his name. Amen.
Hallo Louis. Ja, My son. You are for me. An important phase. And my spirit has the freedom to operate in your heart and to put you in this place. A place that it is really important. The same way that you know me, this way. You're all, you're also known as a choice because you're in my presence. I've been blessing you. I've I've been capacitating you so you could be an instrument in my hands. You're being given value every moment. Because of your work, my souls have been getting the blessings. And my word and my message have reached hearts. And I've been giving you this opportunity to open your eyes. I've been blessing you in a special way. Don't worry. I'm your God. I'm with you. I know your struggles. I know your pain. But I tell you, my son, I renew your life. You won't need anything. My hands give it to your direction. And all the barriers have been put in the way. So only glorify your, your God. Because he's the one that's been helping you. At this day. At the day of your birthday. It's not only special for you. But it's also special for your God. And we are here at this time. So glorify the name of the Lord. I have it to a present. I give it to a spiritual gift. The one that I've been seeking. I'll give you a zacity so it could be used in my house. My church glorify the name of the Lord. Because you're faithful. And you've been chosen the best path. You've been glorifying your Lord. And glorified because my blessing is upon you and everyone. Amen. Amen. It, it was interesting that before the prophetic word, uh, the God had given a, a gift that was saying, I could see that it was an angel that came. Just like a uh, lightning, and he gave you a little, a little paper, and he said, "I'll give you the gift of cure." Amen. Oh, after that, we're gonna talk because I need to know more about that. That's interesting because when he knew Dal, I saw an angel that would come here and hug him. It was a really good hug. And he was really happy. And then the angel went back to eternity. He only came here just to hug him. You know. Elias, yeah. Her birthday. Lord's capacity. Amen. Amen.